Okay, Nico Vannin, everyone. Welcome back to another trailer reaction. This is my reaction to The Exorcist Believer. I like the original um, William Friedkin uh, Exorcist with, uh, you know, Linda Blair. Um, uh, I can't remember her name now, but uh, oh, hold on. Just let me think for a moment. Her name is... Um, it is not Piper Laurie, but um, uh, she was in, uh, you know, something like uh, a Requiem for a Dream. She was in, uh, um, uh, what is that? Um, uh, A Spitfire Grill. Let me see. Hold on. Yeah, I, I don't know how I could forget it. It's Ellen Bernstein. Um, so, yeah, I, I really like that one. And I, I remember when it came back to theaters so many years ago. It was either early 2000s or maybe even late 90s. I, I can't remember, but I saw it. And I remember people nowadays were just kind of laughing at the things that were scary uh, and appalling back then. Like the one scene where she was taking the crucifix and sticking it in her. Uh, and saying, you know, um, what she said. And um, just other parts. Uh, Do you keep any drugs in the house? No. For God's sakes, I don't even smoke grass. And everyone just started laughing because it's old terminology. Uh, but I, I remember that. Um, just like I remember seeing the trailer for Knock Off. This was in probably the mid, around the mid-late uh, 90s. And it was like a comeback for Van Damme. And after, as soon as it came on and everyone saw his face in the trailer, the whole audience just started laughing hysterically, laughing at him. And then when it was over, some teen somewhere in the right corner down below to just, yeah, jack off in the movie. Because that's Jean-Claude Van Damme, knock off, rated R. Yeah, jack off. And everyone, the whole audience just started laughing hysterically. Uh, yeah, so let's go check this out. I remember it all. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good day. Hey, be home by dinner. I love you. Good morning, Mr. Fielding. Morning, Catherine. Let's hope they keep it hardcore. Don't go soft. Keep the dialogue nasty, Catherine, hardcore, ago, and, and gross. Vulgar. Angela, if you can hear. Did you do that? <clears throat> do it again. In time. No, no, do it now. Too much vulgar display of power. Caress. Or caress, right? Father Caress. Too much vulgar display of power. Father Caress, yeah, something like that. Um, okay, anyways, keep, keep it like that. You know, don't try to go with the modern tricks of horror, you know, with uh, with the new style of uh, jump scares. Go with the classical things, you know, the old school films, horror films of the 70s and 80s had their jump scares, but they were done slightly different. You want to shock them with dialogue. You want to shock them with uh, um, building up dread and tension. And when the payoff comes, it's something pretty gross. Something that kind of did it right for modern day horror was uh, Smile, that movie. When you see that reveal, let's just say something tall and gangly and creepy, uh, quite well done. And the pacing was well done. So something like Smile was great. And Ring, you know, when, when that was, you know, kind of new to us here in America, that kind of, uh, you know, did it uh, fairly well, I would say. But, you know, things like Exorcist, you know, um, The Haunting of Julia, The Changeling classic jump scares um, where it builds up the tension and the dread. It doesn't always have to be modern day 
um, uh, tricks. Okay, so let's keep it like that. But we'll see how this Miss, is. We love you. Please come home. Hey, hey, you found her? Me and Catherine are doing out there in those woods. You're just walking and walking. That's all I remember. Angela, can you tell your dad how long you were gone? A few hours. Baby, you've been gone three days. Dun 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 dun. I, I love that theme say? song of Exorcist. I played that at my Thai restaurant. Thought I heard you say for Halloween. Something. Hey, baby. You okay? Those girls went, they brought something back with them. The body and the blood of Jesus Christ. I can hear they're starting that theme, the theme song. Oh, look at her face. She's already beginning to change. The body and the blood? Catherine. The body and the blood. The body and the blood. The body too, and the blood. Catherine. Too modern. The body too, and the blood. Catherine. Too modern style. The No, but there are people out there. Yeah, there. Yeah. Jamie Lee Curtis, uh, Linda Blair, Ellen Bernstein. Yes, more than How about can. that? Ellen Bernstein. Okay, I okay. I believe you can help get our girls back. So there's our connection. Exorcism is a ritual. Every culture, mm -hmm. every religion, they all use different methods. It's going to take all of them. And the force is a method. Man from the Wu-Tang Clan. Two tears in a bucket. Fuck it. Okay. Don't be scared. We've met before. Mother. Mm -hmm. That's him. Demon with the best rake in it. What did you do? A black and a white, okay. I see, I see where they're going with. Is that Catherine's heartbeat? They're beating in sync. God played a trick on you. Mm. Okay. 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 Yeah, there's like, even scenes in the original Exorcist when they were doing some sort of, I don't know what that was, but... It was a, a type of weird blood draw or, or blood cleansing thing in the hospital, old school. They hooked her up. When they were explaining, you know, uh, the doctors explaining, you know, her, her predicament, uh, Reagan's predicament, and it's almost like a montage scene while the doctor's doing his voiceover explaining, oh, da, 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 some, um, you know, a, a more radical procedure, you know, and, and you can see her, they're holding her down, and you have these these syringe and tubes like an IV thing hooked up to her and the blood is kind of I don't know what is going on draining into the machine and something is going I don't know if it's cleansing her blood or doing something to her blood even just that scene alone was freaky this is what I'm talking about the old school horror doesn't have to have necessarily anything to do with the ghost or the demon but things like that where it's unknown and uh, you're not sure what exactly to expect and just the scene alone of pretty sick with uh, you know the blood coming out you know doing something with that weird apparatus so many unknowns that um, it makes for something scary and then you throw in the whole uh, you know demonic uh, you know twist twist to it so um, I yeah, it, it's almost like maybe you can't really do it anymore, but I think they should try. In theaters, October 13th. Okay, so they're going with, I you know, I know everyone nowadays is talking about the woke and, you know, uh, you know they're putting too much diversity. This, this seems like a normal injection, even though maybe it is a case where they wanted to have purposely a black and a white to show diversity. Maybe they did, maybe they did not. But the point is, I don't care because it didn't, by the look of this trailer, it didn't seem like anything was being forced. It just so happened that a black, a little black girl and a little white girl were possessed 
you know, dual dual demon possession. So who knows what's going on there? Uh, that's all. Um, so just a normal injection of it, like the way they did it in the days of the Captain Kirk Star Trek Uhura, Sulu, and kind of going beyond. You know, um, uh, the warriors that had massive diversity. Uh, I forgot that guy's name now, but uh, uh, William something. Uh, are you going to pay for that? For what? The Warriors, when he, he was the one who played Sal in, uh, um, uh, what is that? Uh, 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 what, what was that? I was going to say The Running Man, but it's not The Running uh, Commando in Commando. I like you, Sal. You're a funny guy. That's why I'm going to kill you last. Hey, Sal, remember when I said I was going to kill you last? Yeah, yeah, that's right, Matrix, you did. I lied. And he let him go. What happened to Sal? I let him go. We'll take Cook's car. He won't be needing it. He was the same guy who played T-Bird in The Crow. The same guy who was in The Warriors. You're going to pay for that? For what? Is the same guy. Yeah, yeah, that's right, Matrix. You said, you said that. I lied. Same guy in Commando. It's the same guy who played... T-Bird in The Crow. All the same man. Okay, look that up. Um, but anyways, um, just keep the, the, the in inclusion stuff at a natural um, in, uh, to make it feel organic. Not like you're, you're shoving it in our face. You know, just keep it organic and natural. Just like this and the way it has been done. Um, you know, since I can remember, you know, the, the 70s and 80s, were really the 80s, but I've seen 70s stuff where they include just all kinds of diversity. 48 hours, another 48 hours, Beverly Hills Cops, come on. A lethal weapon, Riggs and Murtaugh, you got a black and white, so come on. It's natural, there was no agenda forcing that, you know, everyone is equal kind of thing. It just was. Blacks, whites, Indians, you know, Asians, you know, uh, Mexicans, all of it. Just, just... We're all human. Just a natural, organic progression. Anyways, that's it. Sorry for that little uh, kind of um, thing. And um, like a rant, I guess. But uh, that's it. Hope you all enjoyed. And see you.